microwave vent door uh, was not working. It was continuously turning as in opening and closing. It's uh, operated by this um, eccentric motor, cam basically attached to a motor that operates two switches. When it goes on, it hits one switch. Uh, when the vent's on, as in open the door, it operates one switch, which locks it in the open position. And then the opposite, when it's closed, it hits the other switch where it's supposed to, and then it's supposed to stop. Well, it kept turning, and I thought the second switch was not working. I took it off, tested the switches. That was not it. Traced the wires back to here, and then measuring the resistance of, yeah, I traced the wire back to, you see, yellow, blue, red wire. Um, that bottom one operates the switch that was working when the vent is open. The other one, uh, right above it, switch is closed. As you can see, I put another resistor because I, when I tested the resistor, the one that was working, 2.2K, also corresponds to the colors. The one that's not working uh, was like 45K ohms. So as a quick test here, I've put the other resistor in parallel. It should only drop the value a little bit. So, And now, as you can see, it works. I'll turn it on. Um, Let's see, so, well, turn the fan fan on. That was working before. It spins, and then it hits the switch, and then it stays in the open position. That would be the vent open. Now I turn the fan off, and there it will hit the other switch and lock in the closed position. Um, before, that was not working. It was continuous, and I guess I could show that. Let's see, I'll unplug it. Pop that out, okay, plug it, and um, that beep was something else, don't worry. Now yank out this resistor, so now it is 45k ohms, now I'll plug it back in, and this is the Space Saver XL GE, I believe, so if anyone sees this problem where their vent door opens and closes constantly, uh, that would be it. And it happens when the vent is in the off position, which is the worst. So here we turn it on. As you can see, it starts spinning. And it actually even makes a noise, this sparking type noise. I guess it didn't do that before. Not sure. Uh, I guess it's drawing too much current or something was weird happening because of that resistor. But as you can see, sorry, that's my cat <laughs> in the background if you could hear her. But yeah, you see it keeps spinning. So we'll disconnect it. And when I put this, if I put the resistor back in, it will work. Um, again, something else, sorry. Uh, the beeping is the oven, uh, just preheating. But yeah, so as you could see, right now that's because it's in that position. I could put the resistor back in. Uh, in my testing position, luckily there were holes that were big enough to shove it in there, but I will solder it in place. Actually, I'll probably also remove that resistor there. Solder in place. We'll be good to go. Yeah, so that's it. I have soldered on the 2.2K ohm resistor after cutting off the other resistor. You can see it there. And now it's plugged in. And then we can see, well, before it would keep turning in this state. But now I can turn on the fan. Switch. Number two hits, turns off, and it stops in that position. And I click it again, turn it off, and now switch number one, or the, the outermost one engages, and it stops. And that is the proper behavior of it. And this is the Space Saver XL, I believe. Oh, Space Saver XL 1800. The door kept opening and closing um, continuously. So this happens to you can be fixed. Just takes a little bit of uh, soldering and sort of checking checking connections and checking the resistor resistance values. This product before this vent door at the top right up there was opening and closing with the vent with the vent off. Now watch when I turn the vent on. Works. It'll open the vent door with that motor, hits that switch, you might have heard a click sends that signal, it stays open. That it was doing before, but then when I turn it off, goes, closes, clicks the switch, motor, I guess sends that signal with that resistor, through that resistor we replaced, 
and now it stays closed and it does not keep that cycle going. So all fixed. Saved quite a bit of money probably.